The Great Tobacco Plant, it had a pivotal role in America's history and may play one again in the future of medicine. They're being used to try and create vaccines and treatments to fight Ebola, the flu, and other diseases. It has nothing to do with the, the plant that we smoke. You can't smoke that. The tobacco plant in this type of research is a cousin of those used to make cigarettes. A pharmaceutical company used the plants to develop ZMAP, the experimental drug given to several people who contracted Ebola in the deadly West Africa outbreak. Scientists prefer these plants because they grow quickly. Tobacco plants uh, uh, are used uh, for many, many years uh, for the production of proteins. To fight a virus, one needs special proteins called antibodies. Scientists can insert an antibody's genetic blueprint into a tobacco plant, and the plant's own protein-making machinery can replicate the antibody for researchers to later extract from its tissue. Biotech firm Medicago is awaiting government approval to produce tens of millions of flu vaccines using this process. What we're preparing is uh, for uh, pandemic influenza vaccines as well as for seasonal influenza vaccines. Much of the research on this plant-based technology, sometimes called farming, hasn't been tested on humans and isn't yet FDA approved, which may explain why it hasn't been widely embraced. You could also get vaccine to be expressed in other media that you can do just as well. So it's a good way to go, it's promising, but it's certainly not the only way. Yet it's the tobacco plant turning greenhouses into large, living pharmaceutical factories. Cindy Sharp, Associated Press.